Thanks for joining me as I travel the world, going from fine dining through to street food and local specialties, all in an effort to find the world's best seafood. Hey folks, greetings from Boston, one of the most famous centers for lobster in North America. I may or may not have come here just for that. I'm a huge lobster fan and we've come to the Union Oyster Company. It's 192 years old to see what they've got on the menu in terms of oysters and lobsters and see if it lives up to the reputation that Boston holds in the States. You know it's old when they have ye olde on the sign. It's a beautiful old building and a lot of the decorations are throwbacks to the original decor from nearly 200 years ago. Fairly simple, don't let the dead downstairs fool you. The lobster tank is an indication of what's to come. But once you get past the attack lobsters and head upstairs, it's actually cavernous with several different rooms and quite an extensive menu. Having said that, it's they keep it pretty straightforward. It's seafood, classic Boston seafood, some steaks, a limited wine selection, a few things at market price, and stay tuned because we were really, really pleasantly surprised. Okay, so they have so many options here. We're gonna share tonight. Well, that's the plan anyway, exactly. Uh, we're gonna get mussels, cherry stone clams, clam chowder, oysters, and a large lobster. Well, that's only two pounds, but yeah, that should do us. Cherry stone clams, freshly shucked oysters. So very casually, surprisingly, with the little takeaway containers for this stuff, and a glass of Washington Riesling. Keep it American today. So we're just a little bit. So where are you guys from? Oh, we live in New York. Okay, nice. The whole right there for you. And I hope you guys enjoy it. You feel free to use the oyster crackers to mix it up in the chopper. Thank you. Thank you. Chow there. Chow there. Let's try the clams. Jelly water, please. How's oh, everything? Pretty good? Yeah. Was that black in the scrap bag a little bit too spicy for you guys? Mm. Mm. Fantastic. Hopefully the oysters are as good. Always like to have an oyster straight up with no seasoning first. Mm. Right. Super briny. In my opinion, great clams can be much better than good oysters. It's just hard to find really great clams. These are them. Really, really impressed with the mussels. They may not have been my favorite dish, but out of all the dishes we had, the most impressive. They were just perfectly cooked and delicious, the best flavor of any mussel I've had. I still prefer clams and oysters, but at 15 bucks, that dish was an absolute standout. Potatoes with it also. Okay. I hope you enjoy. Thank you. Can I get a glass of the New Zealand Yeah, absolutely. I have to say, so far everything is really good. 
I've never had a bowl of mussels where there wasn't even a single one that didn't open. You know, they're all perfect, they're all perfectly clean. None of them have sand, none of them have the beard. They're all perfectly steamed, not chewy. It's the best mussels I ever had. I have to say, the oysters are up there. Other than at really fine oyster houses where you're getting like a $10 per oyster type thing, these are probably right up there. The clams as well. So I have high hopes for Mr. Pinchy here living up to that. I have to say, this guy is pretty expensive for the size, but hopefully the meat justifies it. Now the lobster was nice and meaty, reasonably well cooked, huge amount of roe inside as well as the tamale, really nice and in season, fresh. You know, I think it could do with some better sauces. It's really nice to have the roe. Um, it was definitely fresh. And whenever I eat a lobster or any kind of shellfish, I really make sure I get every little skerrick. That's not just because I want to get my money's worth. I figure if a, an older animal has died for my meal like that, I want to make sure that I get every single little bite of it. So every one of the legs throughout the underbelly there, there's a bunch of additional meat there if you just take the effort to actually get to it and it's absolutely delicious. This could have used some extra sauces though, in my opinion. This place was reasonably busy, considering it was 7 p.m. on a Monday, on a cold and almost rainy Monday. So if you're gonna come here, and I recommend that you do, probably come midweek, because weekends I can imagine it must be over the top packed out. With a couple of drinks, two wines and a cocktail, the lobster and all those appetizers that came in at $165, with your tip, you're looking at a bit over 190. Not a bargain, but for what you're getting, I think a really, really impressive meal. And with the history that goes along with it, I think it was surprisingly not too overpriced. Please do like and subscribe for your seat at the table for my future search for the world's best seafood.